We're joined by Sophia Hartley, our union's welfare officer. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's You're a so welcome. Yeah. <laughs> we just it's want so to nice have you. Yeah, we just want to find out what you do, your role, a big part of our union. Yeah, yeah so and especially this year, I think. Yeah, it's quite an overwhelming year, um, especially coming into the role. It was quite daunting, but um, it's so great because I think LU really does care about their students and um, how they're doing at university. And um, yeah, so it's, it's a bit of a crazy one. Um, but um, yeah. And um, what kind of things? So obviously. I feel like everyone is going to need a bit more support this year. There's a lot of challenges to overcome. What kind of projects or things have you got in place that are going to help students? So we've got um, a really nice um, plan coming forward for um, some new students and returning students. And we're hoping it will be like a safe space in the union where they can come, have a cup of tea, um, talk to anyone, and then maybe from there have a smooth referral to an advisor if they need some extra support. Um, but what's great about what we've got going on at the union is we're still holding all our virtual support sessions with our advisors, but we've also got face-to-face -face ones as well. So if a student really comes in and they're really needing that connection with someone, they can hopefully um, get an interview or... Um, just have a chat with someone and it really breaks down those barriers of like using digital online mm -hmm. screens that can sometimes be a bit of a barrier for people reaching out for help. That's so. really great that you're offering you know both sides of it physical and online because yeah that's it's hard to balance I think at the minute but mm -hmm. like you said I think that physical face-to-face -face contact can really help most people mm -hmm. um, and I'm thinking especially freshers you know this year so um, what, have you, what have you got in place to specifically help them settle in? Because I imagine this year like, there's a lot of pressure on you, <laughs> but on, also on them as well to fit yeah. in and find the feet this year. I think what's really important with our freshers this year is we don't try and relate to our own experiences with them because they've had such a um, um, confusing and absolutely unprecedented year in reaching university. So I think we actually have to take a really fresh perspective with um, how we approach their time at university. Um, and so with problems that we might run into with them, um, accommodations or, um, you know, societies, we've just got to make sure that there's support mechanism in each and every aspect of their time at university this year. So in academic um, spaces, we need to make sure that they're really reaching out to the academic personal tutors and they have those support systems within their progression because they've just had such a awful year with their A-levels um, but then also with accommodations it's really we're really hoping that we can make them like a really nice and supported area for them where that they can meet friends but they're also feeling COVID secure and they're feeling physically safe um, and then obviously with our clubs and societies we just really encourage everyone to join them and get involved as much as they can even though they might have a bit of Zoom fatigue with online learning that there will be other opportunities to get involved with extra um, extra activities so yeah it's making sure it's more of a holistic approach than just being like here's here's a resource to here's an advisor here's a talk like to talk to someone over a phone like it's making sure that every aspect of the university life they can find an area that they feel comfortable to reach out to that's so important and if you like what tips have you got for freshers for like settling in and making sure that they feel healthy and happy so I think I think when you come to university there's a big pressure to enjoy your time straight away and to settle in and make friends and have the best time of your life straight away and I, I felt that this was a pressure that I struggled with um, and so what I would say to freshers joining is that you just have to completely take it at your own pace and take each day as it comes and do not put any pressure on yourself to um, feel you have to reach those external pressures from society to be living your time at university straight away. Um, have a cup of tea with your flatmate. If your flatmate isn't someone you like click with straight away, maybe invite someone from your course to go for a cup of tea with, because I think as soon as you make those connections, um, those like human connections with people, maybe over a cup of coffee, like that can really make a huge difference. And I also want to uh, just say that you just don't know when you're going to meet someone that you get on with. Like for me, it was like second semester that I found people that I really, really clicked with. So just don't put too much pressure on yourself in first semester to meet amazing friends straight away. <laughs> I think that's so true. Like there is such a hype around uni mm. and like it is just normal life. Like there is like this is going to be the best time of your life. I feel like that's quite damaging sometimes because then you have these really high expectations yeah. and then especially this year, they just aren't going to be met. So no. it's like readjusting those expectations yeah. so you can then enjoy what you actually do have. Absolutely. And I think it's like, 
people are moving away from home for the first time. It's a big city, and um, Leeds has so much to offer, but it can also be an overwhelming place to live because, you know, if you go from like a village or a small town and come to a big city that is talking about national lockdowns or local lockdowns, it can be really exhausting, like all the information you're receiving through the media. So, yeah, I think it's just you just have to be really kind to yourself, and it's okay to pick up a phone and call someone from home or um, your friends in a different university like just don't put too much pressure on yourself to make those connections straight away because you know it's just a difficult year and I think we just have to accept that and not like risk like push it away like just kind of welcome that it's going to be difficult and if we welcome it that's like a big step in like finding support systems that we can reach out to so that's yeah, what I would say. Definitely. A bit of a long-winded answer, sorry. No, that was amazing. It's important. Um, so I'm just asking on behalf of like, your freshers who mm -hmm. might be watching this video now, where can they find you and how can they get in touch with you? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm in... Um, the union building, um, hopefully five days a week, but maybe four days a week. So if you're ever needing to pop in and have a chat, we'll be on the level one and level two offices in the union building. Um, but uh, you can also reach me by email, which is s.e.f.h um, <laughs> at leeds.ac.uk. But that's it's an easy on one to remember. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking, like, now I'm saying it, maybe that's not the best way to say it, but it's all on the union website, and all our numbers, are, all our numbers and our email addresses are there mm -hmm. for anyone to reach out at any time. Amazing. Fantastic. And what, like, to finish off with now, what are you most excited about for this year? Because I know we're saying it's a challenging year, uh -huh. but I think there are still going to be some amazing moments. And, like, what are you personally most looking forward to? Uh, I'm actually looking at this year as, like, a real... Um, a real year for change because um, I think we've seen with a lot of social movements around the world that when we're when the world is in crisis that's when you know social movements can make the most influential impacts and so I think at the union this year like with my objectives I'm actually really excited about pushing one of them in particular which is my strategy to um, like tackle sexual assault on and off campus at Leeds University this year and I think now more than ever um, Although we have a lot of COVID, um, distract not distractions, but you know, things we've got to think about this year, I think now more than ever, that problem and that objective can actually take a real kickstart this year because um, I think we've had a bit of a mini Me Too movement around the student community at the moment, and I'm actually really excited to get get that um, get mobilising students along that strategy and hopefully um, get the university on board and make some real change in that area. Wow, that's so important yeah. and that's so amazing to hear you've got these plans for this year. You sound like excited. a busy lady. Yeah, you do. <laughs> well, it can be a bit overwhelming, but well, it's fun. It's oh, fun. It's the best of luck with everything Thank you've got you so pressure, much. but I'm sure, I feel reassured now you've come in no, as well. I'm like, yeah, I'll be in your office. Yeah, no, we're upstairs. We've always got a biscuit, so it's fine. Oh, Thank <laughs> you so much it. for talking yeah. to us.